Welcome back to the Cheese House. It's your boy Daniel Cheeseman, and today I'm wearing a lot of black this episode. And also, we're going to be continuing on our journey of Doki Doki Literature Club, so let's get this open now. Team Salvato. So if you guys remember my last playthrough, Yori was getting a little too obsessive, and Natsuki just lost it. So let's get this sorted out now. Now I have to write a poem for them, but I guess it doesn't really matter what words I pick, it's going to end up going to Yori anyway, so... Hang on, what, what the hell? Okay, numbers are going up. That's strange. This is weird. What the? Where'd that extra one come from? And what happened to the text? Hang on, was that was that a Monica sticker sticker I saw bouncing up and down? Oh, whoa, hey! I think I might also change the voices for this one. Hi, Cheesy Old. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. I'm not changing Natsuki's though. Monica! I told you not to! Uh... uh is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do that on a regular basis or something. I wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. It's a little more hostile than I than I was meant to be. But I, I guess it just felt threatened or something. But I know this, this is something that we're doing together. Another new member probably wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Watch what you're saying in front of a dude, Natsuki! So... Natsuki? Nobody cares! Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Ah! Ah! Oh dear. Well, nice job, Yuri. You made her upset. Again. Gosh. So yeah, in case you guys forgot, Natsuki's being abused by her father, and I think... I think she's also being undernourished as well. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion, it motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, cheesy, uh, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Cheesy was already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Are you glad that I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? It's hard to take you seriously with that face, Yuri. I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. <sighs> Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. <laughs> yeah, I think Yuri's actually starting to become a little bit psychopathic. She's starting to become a full-on Yandere character. Uh, Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I watch and follow her movements as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Well, that's good. There's nothing worse than unfiltered water. <clears throat> Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches a... Fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go grab some water. 
She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Interesting. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. What are you hiding, Yuri? Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Dot dot dot. Ten minutes pass. God, she must be really busy then. Uh, Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? Maybe. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Sword equipped, just in case anything bad happens. Uh, I think I may as well put that away. It's only foam, it's not going to do much. Uh, let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Wow, that sounded way too orgasmic. I am very, very sorry about that, viewers. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <coughs> Sharp inhale, like someone's sucking the air through their teeth. <sighs> Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <coughs> Guys! Holy shit! Are you seeing the cuts on her arm? Jesus, that's quite a lot. I mean, uh, g -g 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 uh, I mean, it freaks me out, but it, 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 but it, it's just a hobby. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just one of her hobbies. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? What is happening? What the fuck? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Jeez, you do you like your long tea? Yeah, just as long as you don't put your fucking blood in it. Uh, besides, I I pretty much prefer a coffee, anyways. Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to two hundred degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo hoo hoo. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Well, even though you're a bit of a psychopath, you still know your way around things. Ah, uh, perhaps I will! Yui fetches the... Yuri, not Yui. Oh my goodness. She's... she's not a car... she's not an insurance... agency. And she's also not a Sword Art Online character. Um... she fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. Well, you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try expressing myself a little more. May as well save progress here, just in case something buggy may happen. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. Well, it's kind of nice, just as long as you don't go too overboard. When it's you who's around, anyway. Okay! Creepy, 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 creepy. We've got ourselves a stalker here. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. That's exactly what I said. You're always worrying about me, cheesy old. It's very endearing. <laughs> that's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I'll watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Cheesy old, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Hey, what was that? Oh, it's a little easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh yeah, hunched over like that, it's not really a good thing. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I, I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Oh, kind of reminds me of myself, really. Is that so? I wonder why that is. Most likely because of my... Uh, my... Your posture, the fact that your chest is far too huge, I I honestly don't know. And don't you don't you start thinking anything perverted here. 
Your posture, right? I mean, you're always hunched over like that while you're reading. Yes! I, I have terrible reading posture. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough, then. I'll go ahead and get the book. I, retrie I retrieved the book from my bag. Oh, I've got some chocolates as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. You and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. We can't see too well. <laughs> Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. And that face pretty much just spells mischief there. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Oh, uh, holding it in my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Just as long as I'm holding... As long as I'm holding the book with my non-dominant hand. Because I, I still need to do various tasks with, with my left here. Um... Because now I need to worry about making sure that I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh my god. Every single anime character or visual novel ever. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume that the world around her has faded away. I use all my will's power to focus on reading. Dot dot dot. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. Oh, that's good. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening a wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... that's okay, I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well... if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't really think about that. Sorry, my bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Well, that's nice of you, even though you're a fucking psychopath. Um, Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have, so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. As long as she, as long as it's, as long as she's not doing anything else. Um, well, in that case, Yuri's already focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. I then take another one and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. Oh no, he's not going to do a bait and switch, is he? That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place a chocolate in her mouth. Okay, you. That... safe. <laughs> safe. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Oh god, her eyes are a lot wider. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, jeez, you uh, Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. What's going on? I... I can't. Jeez, you Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Not the tea! Although I pretty much prefer coffee myself. I may have said this quite a few times. Jeez, you Uh, screen's gone. A bit darker. And she's forced me into the closet. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Cheeseal. I can't calm down. Your ex your expression certainly proves that. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Cheeseal? Yuri presses my hand against her chest. No, 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 no! I don't want to touch it! Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. You're a yandere. You're emblazoned with your lo you're emblazoned with love that you go kind of crazy. It happens to everyone who does that, even you know I. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Yandere, 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 yandere. Uh, that kind of sounded a bit Spanish there. Uh, Someone, please help! Uh, don't make me cut you! Don't make me- Oh, thank God. First in at just the right time, Monica. I need a hideout. Um, it's time to share poems. 
Right, I think I may as well go in my usual uh, sort of alphabetical order. Monica, Natsuki, Yuri. Jizil, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. Oh, is this, is this because of the cutting thing? I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Well, it is, but then again, I'm, I don't really... I don't really judge a person based on their hobbies. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Okay, now you see that? That. That's pretty strange. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just kind of gets some sort of high from it. it. Might even be like a sexual thing. So it's a sort of a kink? Oh god. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be too shy to spend a little more of your time with me. Am I, am I dealing with two Yanderays here? To put it lightly, at least I have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Just as long as you don't go fucking psychopathic. Anyway, um, I worked really hard on this poem, so... I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here goes. Uh, Monica, your poem's kinda glitched out. May as well save progress here, I guess. Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kinda messed up at the, uh, at writing this poem. What the hell have you done? I guess I was just trying to... <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's just move on. Weird. Alright, let's go over to Natsuki then. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. Still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending any time with anyone but Yuri. Still, I think it's nice that you have activities that we can all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean... Just because I'm, I, I mean, I know I'm not the vice president or the regular president or anything. That doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. Just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. All right, well let's have a look. So read it carefully, okay? Wait, this, this seems more like a warning message. All right. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Uh, Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive and things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. And I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I, I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So if, so please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll just, I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't really know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. As if she just wants us to ignore it. I'm so mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Jesus. Natsuki's very worried, isn't she? Uh, what's happening to the background? <laughs> ah! Where's her face? I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Cheezeel? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all of these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica? What the fuck? Just Monica. What the fuck is happening? Is the game resetting itself? Just Monica? 
Holy shit. Um. Right, let's go over to Yuri. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I may as well put another save file in. I love it. I love everything about it. Cheesy, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Cheesy. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I, I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. Wait, I, I'm sorry, what?! I'll take good care of it. Stalker, 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 stalker! I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over! I'll give myself paper cuts so this skin oil enters my bloodstream! What the fuck? What the fuck, Yuri? <laughs> psycho, 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 psycho! You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! Oh, bloody hell. No, literally, bloody hell! What- what is all that? I can't read it! It's all, like, chicken scratched! And what the hell- what the hell is all the blood and- What is that, tea stain? Like, I hope that's a tea stain! Ah! Do you like it? I wrote it for you! In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about- uh... Wait, is this about Sayori? Is this poem about Sayori?! More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Well, I noticed the blood, but what was that other one? I, uh, I, I hope that was actually tea or perfume or something, instead of, you know, your sweat or your juices. I mean, you've already put your blood in there. That, that's, that's already... <laughs> I think I'm gonna vomit. I think I'm gonna vomit as well. What's this? The fuck? Okay, all of this is redacted, and there's only a few, a few spots there. If you can, if you can read that, there's an N O T H I N G. Nothing. I S is R E A L question mark. Nothing is real. What is this? Uh. Anyway, I, I think I may as well save progress here and um, and continue on next time. Uh, so yeah, very, very, very creeped out, uh, and I'm betting it's going to get a little bit worse. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, if you want to check out some of my other playthroughs, then. There's going to be a playlist uh, around the end card. And yeah, just thanks for watching. Peace out, peeps. Jesus Christ, this is a fucked up game.